This whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... I need entertainment. This'll do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White! I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. The toad was just here. You said it looked like Snow White. That true, love? Yes. It's true. So we were just wondering why, of all the possible suspects in Fable Town, why would you arrest the poor old woodsman, who you know had nothing to do with these murders? Bigby, come on. You can't be so dumb as Jack, to... find the off button, now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around, but as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. He fucking maimed you. Aren't you pissed? Cat got your nerve. What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. Both of you, listen. Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister... Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Hey, easy! Ah, fuck! What'd I do? It's an honest qu... Go fuck on up a beanstalk, Jackie boy. Grant, you gotta learn some new lines. Let me tell you. All right, then. Actually, have there been any updates? I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been safe. She might have been cared for. She might have been... <laughs> I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry we found your sister this way, and I... I wish this had ended up better. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you, and it wasn't. We recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. 
<sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. It's very rare and very old. We don't know what's important yet. I mean, isn't that evident? She was killed for a brooch. Just next time clear it with me, all right? Gren. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? I don't know that much about her life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. She was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Do you have any idea why she'd be glamoured as Snow White? What? Oh god, I'm sorry. That was probably about... She was hooking, to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the puddin' and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees. It's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. Pudding and pie, huh? What do you know about the place? It's a real garbage dump. We can just go check it out. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here? <laughs> Lily. Anything else you can tell us? I don't think so. Like I said, we didn't talk much. That's all right. You've been more than helpful. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no. It's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise, or... I don't know. I'll check with the deputy mayor about that. He'd want to be kept in the loop. This is really important to me. Look, why don't you come down with me to the business office, and we'll see what we can do. That club? I'll go down there now. See what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Really, thanks. It just made everything easier. Sheriff, what a nice surprise. I'm not sure I've seen you here before. You're always welcome, of course. Is it business or pleasure? Or both? I've got some questions for Georgie. Straight to business this time, then. You're in luck. He's here. Come on. I should warn you that... Georgie does not like to be bothered when he's working. And he's in kind of a... mood right now. I mean, more so than usual. Is he, uh, alone in there? He's working with one of the dancers, but don't worry about that. Discretion is our guarantee. Welcome to the Pudding and Pie, where we cater to the diverse tastes of the Fable community. 
Your pleasure is our pleasure. Did you know Lily? She worked here? <sighs> My lips are sealed. You'd better ask Georgie. What do you think you're doing? You look like you're trying to take a shit. Who's gonna want that? No one's gonna want that. I can take it from here. Good luck. It's your face. You have to smile. You never smile. How many times do I have to say it? You're supposed to turn the clients on. That's your job. You want them to feel up. Oh, it's you. We're closed. Keep dancing, you. I didn't say stop. For fuck's sake. You, stay right there. Don't even think about sitting down. I got a few questions. Imagine my excitement. What do you want, then? You here for a little taste? Tell you what, come back after midnight, maybe. I can hook you up. Or, uh, knowing you, she's probably not quite your style. You'd prefer someone who can take a bit of a beating. Tell me, do you prefer a stationary target, or one that will put up a fight? I'm not here for that. Oh, I'm not here for that! <laughs> you just stopped in for the chips, then? Jesus, Big B, you're so corny. I love it, though. No, seriously, I love it. Okay, all right, Sheriff. Just fucking with you. Look, I know why you're here. Who told you? Listen, Sheriff. Around here, we can't afford to wait for you and your swanky pals to take an interest. We have to look out for each other. When shit happens, I hear about it. Especially if it concerns my livelihood. In that case, I assume you knew Lily was glamoured. Of course she was, you daft git. She was a troll. No. I mean glamoured to look like another fable. Yeah? Well, so what? Who gives a toss? People get up to all kinds of things when nobody's watching. It's sick. Ha! <laughs> That's quaint. Especially coming from you. The 13th floor would never provide a glamour like that. Strictly black market stuff. Ooh, black market, is it? How exciting. This is exactly what I would expect from a thug like you. Storm in, throw around a bunch of accusations, try to scare people. But you've got fuck all to back it up. And we're all just meant to jump any time the wolf shows his teeth. Get that out of my face. This was part of the glamour we found on Lily's body. Take a good look. She was impersonating Snow White. Why? You've got this all wrong. If Lily was doing a special glamour, it wasn't for me. For fuck's sake, I want that kind of eat. Who was she doing it for, then? She had clients, Bigby. Maybe one of them was into it. A lot of fucked up people in Fable Town. Like who? Try looking in the mirror. Anyway, now what to do with me? Go on, then. You're gonna hit me? Go ahead. That's what you want to do, right? That's what you came here for, right? One more time. Who hired her? Oh, no, fuck! You! Take your sad fucking face where I can't see it! Bloody bastard fucking shit! You proud of yourself, mate? Proud of your little mess? Fuck's sake. Fuck up, Hans. Hey! Just cleans up and provides a little muscle when we need it. 
He's not going to know anything about the girls and their clients or any of that. No one knows. Don't you get it? It's by design. Discretion is our guarantee, right? And the way we guarantee that is that no one knows anything they don't have to know, including me. I cover my eyes and take my cut. End of story. Why not look it up? What's that? Isn't there a little book with all the stuff about the girls and all that written You're in it? You're a fucking moron! Show me. There is no book. And as for you, Hans, we need to work on your communication skills and have a fairly good idea where to start. Hey, that's my personal property. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey, now! Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. Don't even think about it. Do not touch that. You hear me? That's nothing to do with you. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. Jesus, you're killing me. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Come on, Nate. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. <laughs> this is a dance club. What the hell am I supposed to do tonight while the girls are on stage? Harmonica, kazoo, whistle a happy tune. Fucking unbelievable. Bloody come on, then. Fucking trash my business over this bullshit! Protector of Fable Town, my ass. What a load of crap. Once again, don't get your hopes up. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so he can be happy about that. Here, this is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? Oh dear. I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths, and Joneses, and Mr. X-types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, I've had quite enough of you and your bullying. Excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Hello? Business office? Lipstick, lip gloss, compact, glitter.
Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Well, that jibes with what the woodsman told me. Lock's been busted open. Broken open, but there isn't even a lock. Excuse me. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What are you doing here? Same as anyone. It's a place where I am. Where else am I supposed to be? My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. It's how things work here. By design. I'm disappointed. I hoped you'd be helpful. This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips... Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? Okay. What would I need to do? I need 150. It's not good to be short. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I don't, uh... Wait here for a second. Seven? You'll think of something. The open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> 